Welcome back, everyone. Hardy Man here, back for another episode of FTB Infinity Light from the Beach Block server. And last episode, uh, what did we do? Showed you uh, something I found in the uh, abandoned mine shaft chest. Had some interesting stuff in it. Uh, we made a pickaxe from the Tinker's Construct mod after, you know, well, we decided on the stuff and, and finally made it. Uh, and then I also did a little bit of Ender.io, made a, a few machines from that, I believe. Yeah, I think that's all. So this episode, uh, we're going to make one more machine for Ender.io, uh, and possibly do a little bit of forestry, because uh, if you watched my uh, Grand's Cast 2 playthrough, uh, I kind I kind of wanted to get into that before I went on a, a hiatus and basically exchanged that series out for this one. So I kind of want to you know do that, see what it's all about in 1.10. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna you know try to dive into that. But first, let uh, let me show you something I found on my travels. Uh, whenever I was trying to go around and get what was it for the pick. Wasn't it something for the pick that I needed? I have forgotten. Vines. Vines. I needed vines for uh, mending moss. And, yeah. I found a desert temple. They have four chests. And I, uh, you know, brought those four chests full of goodies back. So let's go see that right now. Get out of all that. And it's in these uh, immersive engineering crates. So first one, you know, not too shabby. Got some emeralds and stuff like that. Found these black lotuses. Don't know what that is. It's Batania, so I, I, I've never done anything with Batania, so I don't know if they're worth anything or whatever, but I'll keep them. And then we got all these, like, capacitors and heaven scent. What is that? Uh, hmm, Okay. Magic capacitor. Nice villainous capacitor. Okay. Um, so I have those. If I guess if we do anything with that, I, I guess I'll have to look those up. Found some bees, which is going to help us, uh, you know, in our, our forestry adventures. Which, I don't know what this one is. I think that's pretty common, but I don't know what steadfast is. It's, it's glowing, so I assume that's good. Uh, some, you know, tools and stuff. And some of these nebulous hearts, which uh, I looked... Uh, I looked those up. Well, no, that's the wrong thing. Recipe? No. What? Did I, did I actually do uses? I can't remember. They... You can make ender pearls from them, right? I think so... Yeah, there we go. So I can just put that into, I guess, a crafting thing and get three ender pearls out of it. So that's cool. Uh, and I think that's all from that one. Then we also had some more bees. I think this also could be from a. Uh, some of these could be from a village that I found, since I, I also got the the bee houses or whatever. So that's cool. Um, yeah, because I think I also got this stuff from a whatever engineer's building. And, yeah, not a whole lot in that one. And, yeah, this is just more from that building. So, basically, basically it was this chest. This chest was mainly what I found in the actual uh, desert temple. So, with that out of the way, let's go back down here and sleep. As you can see, I have some stuff in those uh, crafting tables that we're going to need to get to. Oh, got to turn around. Okay. So this one, uh, it's a binder composite, which if you know anything about it, then you can use this to make uh, like energy conduits. But I think you, yeah, you just smelt it. So we can throw that in there. And we're gonna go need to make some, what is it, energetic like alloy? I can't remember what it's called. Uh, where is it at? There we go. Let's go back down here and get into our alloy smelter for the first time. Put that in there and that. Is that going to work? 
maybe ah there we go it's it's working it's very very slowly so we got those two things going uh and up here another little thing i prepared it's the sag mill uh basically what the sag mill does it's kind of like the tinker's contract smeltery type thing uh where well i guess it's kind of like that because i think it takes the ores and stuff and doubles it but i think you also have a chance of getting something else uh so i guess it's kind of a little bit better but yeah it actually takes you know power but i mean we, we have this generator here, so it should be fine let's plop that down so we can get some power going do i have some coal i do uh let's just do like half of that make sure it, it's full because what is this that's a hundred thousand as well so yeah it should be good because I, that's, what is it, 16,000, and what does this hold? Eh, that, that's possibly more than it needs. It's really, it's really late, so I, I can't do math. Math is not good, late times. So, yeah, so that should be fine. Anyway, got three of them. I think we need, do we need only three? I think we may need only just three, so let's get that. Put that in there, and this conduit binder, and it gets us eight energy conduits. So, if we needed to, I could, uh, you know, go, I guess, behind there and hook them all up. But, I mean, we're good right now, uh, so I won't need this right now. But in, in the future, possibly whenever we actually get to um, the forestry, may need that. I don't know... Since I never actually did it on a Grand Skies too, I don't know if they need power. You would assume so. They're machines. Like, they have machines that do stuff, so I assume that they would need power, but... Yeah. I guess I'll just see whenever we, we get to that, but... Now that I have all this up and running, I'm gonna start throwing some stuff into uh, the sag mill to get it going. And I will, you know, pick back up whenever we're ready to get into forestry. I've already got, like, a place, you know, set out in the world and, and stuff like that, so... Gonna head over there whenever I have uh, all the stuff that I need, so stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. So, got done with my uh, sag milling? Maybe? Whatever, whatever you call it. I, I guess it is technically still smelting, maybe? Uh, whatever. Uh, of Well, I guess it's not smelting, because it, I got dust. Macerating, I guess, maybe? Is a better word for it. Anyway. I got done with that, got a lot of stuff, uh, and brought it out to this lovely plains, I think that that's the biome that we're in right now, uh, and this is going to be the spot of our new bee slash tree slash general forestry uh, mod area, uh, and possibly even my base uh, away from spawn, depending on you know how good this goes. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at all the stuff that I've gotten done in between where I cut off in now. Lots of stuff. Um, okay, so basically, just, you know, cleared out an area all around here. Put up our, our own little smeltery. Um, you know, got all the little workbenches and stuff like that. Got a farm going. Got some berry stuff going. Got some chests. Got a sign, let everyone know what all, all this is all about before this episode goes up, in case they did come out here and see it. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so, yeah, let's get started. Right here, I have uh, the start of our forestry adventures, which is going to be the carpenter. Uh, if you... Have bronze, sturdy casing, glass. Make that to do a sturdy casing. Uh, you just need, let me show you, bronze in the, uh, you know, eight spots around the empty spot. Gives you a sturdy casing. Um, and, yeah, let's get that out of here. And with the second one, we need six copper going on the sides. That gives us a centrifuge. Uh, which will, I guess, take the uh, honeycomb type of stuff um, and get the stuff that we actually want out of it. 
Uh, so that's going to be good for us. But we also, let's see here, trying to see where we can place these right now. I guess maybe over here. Because, yeah, they need power, which also I have partially in my inventory. Uh, we're going to make another sterling generator, which is going to be that uh, with those. And I need, what else do I need? Oh, I need to uh, make something over here. Uh, haven't actually got any casts yet, so let's make an aluminum brass cast for an ingot. So let's do that real quick, because I need to make a piston. So there's that. Let's get over to iron and make one of those for us. There we go. Come over here and make a piston like we always do it's a regular minecraft you know recipe so it should be good um what was the last thing oh i think the furnace right let's take this furnace right here oh lagged a little bit and there we go sweet uh so like i uh, said what was it last episode or was it last time i was here it's a whole new day, by the way. Um, but we had those conduits. Ah, there they are. Energy conduits. So we're going to need... Oh, well, we'll probably need to go and get sleep. Don't want anything blowing up our stuff that we just made. Spend all that copper and bronze on. Anybody? Anybody around here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Probably... Let's leave a few spaces just in case. So, just bring that out of there. Hopefully this connects. Because uh, I don't know of any other mods uh, right off that have energy that we can actually get to as easy as, as we've done uh, with this. But, uh, so let's get, I think I have coal blocks in one of these chests. There we go. So, let's go with... 12 should be enough to hopefully get those up. How much does it take? Power wise. Maximum is 5,000. Yeah. Well, that's not that great, but okay. Yep, it's definitely like 5,000. Okay, so that's what they're going to be doing real quick. Uh, we need to... Well, put on my helmet first of all. Don't want to get blown up or something. Let's do that. Uh, the next thing we are need to do is let's look it up. A portable B analyzer, which is going to be four ten two glass panes, redstone, and a diamond, which I have part of that in my inventory. Uh, I didn't bring any panes right before I make some. I don't see any in there. And just make sure. I think I may have used them all up as uh, windows in the house. So, yeah. Go ahead and make some more. There we go. And, oh, the tin. Uh, there we go. Two, three, four. And there we go. So, if you noticed, inside this, we need to actually use a carpenter. So, that's why I had to make that first. Let's go over here to this. Can I click it in there? Okay. What else do I need for it? Ah, I need some water. Okay. Okay. Uh, wait. How much did it say I needed? Ah, two buckets. Okay. So uh, go over here and run and get some water real quick, or some more water, I should say. There we go. Make sure that didn't like destroy the landscape and cause some running water Is that good it's 2000 can I just take it no hmm what are we doing here now cuz that looks all like we gotta do 
Unless I'm missing something, or unless this is taking incredibly slow. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I thought this was going to be easy. But apparently I missed something here. Oh, wait. My stuff is still in my inventory. Wait, so... Does it need to be in there? Ah! So this is just a template. And you have to actually put the actual resources in there. Or I guess I could have put them up there. I see. I see now. I was very confused there for a moment. Because I've never done this, so... Didn't know exactly what I needed to do, but... I figured it out. We're we're on our way again. Just waiting for that. Let's take that back and have our portable analyzer. Let's look at that real quick. What's this? So supply B tree, butterfly, and or 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 and other uh, individual and provide honey or honeydew as a pacifier. Interesting. Analytics is general environment produce. Evolution. What's the fifth one? Can't scroll, can I now? Hmm. Interesting. Um. Okay. Well, I had captured some bees. Where are they at? Ah, right here. And kind of why I chose this area out of all the areas on the, like, you know, area that I had searched. Uh, if we hit J, the world will save. But also, uh, if you take a look at it here, like I said, we're in a plains, so that's pretty good. I think most bees can survive in a plains, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that's one reason why I did it here. But also, we're right next to the desert, so if there's any bees that have to be in like a hot area, I could just go over there, set up a hive or whatever, and have that run. Uh, we're also near a forest down along here so again if I needed if someone like one of them needed just to be in a forest I could go right down there and we're also in an ocean area over here so I think m maybe that that's another type of thing possibly where uh, you can just head out over there and, and deal with bees because I, I think I remember seeing on Grand Skies 2 that uh like the the biome that we we're in like the predominant biome was an ocean so maybe there's something there that allows it to i don't know be all right uh so you know might as well be near one of those but uh yeah that's kind of why i chose this place it's not too far out of the way uh there is our spawn house and the spawn village and everything uh there's jt's ravine right there but uh yeah it's not too far there and i guess our ravine is right there so again it's kind of a you know southern midpoint between spawn house and that ravine so it's a pretty good place also you have kind of a backdrop out on a good rendering day uh where you can get all the way over to these like hills or mountains of the mesa so pretty good backdrop but anyway, uh, so, yeah, I guess, hmm, now it said something about honeydew or something, honeydew or honey, now I have, um, I think I brought some cones, honeycomb, can I do that with Let's see, I think these, mm, let's see, modest, pristine, maybe, is what we need. Unknown genome, unknown genome. Okay, so let's see about this. See if this will work or not. No, it will not. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I guess we can put this in the centrifuge, possibly, and see what it will give us. Maybe it will give us uh, some of this honeydew. Wait. Did that one just not give us anything? Or is it doing it now? Very confused. Because our number's not going down. Hmm. So does it take like two passes? 
potentially. But we have one honey drop and some beeswax, so that's good. Maybe we can get whatever this honeydew is. Hopefully, uh, you know, take a look at them. Oh, is that bee still in there? It is. Interesting. Oh, golly. Doing some crazy stuff, mouse. What are you doing? Okay, let's see if we get anything else out of this. More beeswax. Okay. So there's that. So let's see if this is what it needs. Because it's kind of that same droplet. Maybe? Uh... I don't know. Because, yeah, doesn't say anything there. Oh, we had to do it again. Okay, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. So, see here short lifespan, slower, slowest. Need to have a cacti near it. Uh, fertility is what, two? I guess those are just drones, maybe? Potentially, because they don't have a crown or anything ab above them. Average territory effect, none. Okay. Uh, do I have to put that in there again to get environment information? Or, no, I guess it gives you everything. You just have to choose a slot. So, yeah, like, climate, hot. I'm assuming we have to go put it in the desert for them to actually, like, produce anything. Arid, again, best, I assume, is in, in the desert. Diurnal, nocturnal. Uh, so, was that nighttime? What's a diurnal? I don't know what that is. Uh, Talent Fire Cave Dwelling. So yeah, they need to be, I guess, above ground. And this may be the rain? Potentially. Tolerant Fire. I would assume they can't fly in the rain. So or they can't be active in the rain. They give you a parched comb. They, I haven't figured out any mutations for them. And they give you the classification for it. Cool. Okay, so there's that, and I guess let's do this modest drone as well. Uh, looks like the same stuff, same stuff, and yep, same stuff. Okay, so oh, it's going, going to sleep again, and then we're gonna take one of the, uh, I guess, what are they bee houses? Bee houses. And, uh, I guess go out in this desert. Although, what is this other thing that I found? A scripted tour, eh? I don't know how to say that. A script or re. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, so. I don't know. Let's just place it right here. So, what does this do? Oh, you can examine them. So is this found no curious specimen on my travels. Hmm. There's something here. Examine specimens. No? What about this? Examine specimens. Elated, I wanted to start at once with my research. Place a genetic sample in the center to begin. Place more in the left slots and examine them for help. Interesting. Oh, so is that maybe... Because there is like a gene thing uh, where you like breed them together. So maybe that's what that's about? I don't know. Again, I'm new to this and I'll probably need to go do some like research uh, to, to get to know more about it. But uh, let's see here. It said it needs cactus. So maybe just put it right here in the middle. Oh, it's doing something. So we now have a modest queen. Am I going to get stung? Mm, doesn't look like it. The bunny is hopping around. So that is good. So I guess we will, uh, I guess, let it do its business. Hopefully get some uh, nice nectar, what is it, parched combs? And uh, put them through here and see what we get out of that. Although, I did break some of those. Did I have some? I did have some. So, let's run these through the centrifuge real quick, too. See if they give us anything different. I guess I could look up uses. And, uh, 
Honey Drop and a Beeswax. So Honey Drop is a 90%, I guess always maybe. And Beeswax is a 100%, so interesting. So yeah, let that do its thing. Uh, yeah, tw 12 was too much. Uh, yeah, 160,000 RF. Yeah, don't don't really need that. So maybe, actually let's probably take that out and just do that. Because I may have possibly wasted some of that block of coal. So let's just put you back in there. So let's see here. What can we do with this? Ah, seal upgrade. Ah, but this is for, um, it's not forestry, it's gingerstry. Which I think is like an automatic form of forestry for bees and stuff like that. Interesting. So you can make torches out of it. You can make a wax cast. And a wax capsule. Uh, and you can do... Was it scented paneling? Unlit candles. We had some of those. More unlit candles. And a craft... Or a crated beeswax. Interesting. Okay, I may need to also look into gingerstry and see what all goes into that as well to see... Because uh, I think there may be like an automatic form, like I said. What is it? Uh, I can't remember. Let's. Gin. Distry. Yeah. Let's go through all these DNA things. Um, okay. Mutagen. Industrial apiary. I think this thing, uh, if you get it out into the world you can actually make it automatically continue on uh with like going through cycles of getting bees and you know just keep them going because i think i'm gonna have to keep going out there to the one in the desert and uh placing drones in and possibly like princesses or whatever if i wanted to keep producing things and i think an option with this is automation let me go back upgrades yeah, you got planes upgrades, stuff like that. So, is there an automation one? Ah, there we go, automation. So you get that, and it produces, or it consumes more energy. So, I mean, that's to be expected if you automate something. So, makes sense. But, uh, yeah, how what how much does that take? Bronze gear. Well, we have that now. Uh, so I could do that, and we've already done that. So what's this? Bronze and a weighted pressure blade. I mean, that's pretty simple. Uh, I guess we can actually go ahead and do that, possibly. Because, uh, let's see here. I have more. Where's that? Oh, I have one bronze. Uh, yeah, we have. We can make some more. Let's see. We're going to need... Ah, uh, I've already forgotten how much we need. We need eight. That's also bronze. So, five. So, 13. Let's go back uh 13 21 we need 21 bronze so was that 4 16 20 21 ish and we're gonna need six of those so i think that's right or does it give me four for each of these i can't remember now it does Okay, so we just need 21, so there we go. Although, I just remembered that we had this extra one in there, so. Getting a little bit more than we needed. That's fine. Uh, let's see here. How do we make a... Oh, I just forgot what it's called. Uh, a gear cast. Gear cast. How do we make that? Iron gear. Can we make it out of something not so valuable? Copper, bronze, tin. Is there a different way I can make a bronze gear? Ah, you make a basic gear and put bronze around it. Which, yeah, I can do that. Oh, man. I don't know why my mouse sensitivity is, like, really off today. For whatever reason. Uh, oh, sticks. Okay, so we need two, so that should be that. And for some weird reason, it keeps putting coal in there with it. Okay. One, two. Okay, there's that. 
Uh, I guess we can put that in here, right? So let's go back to the automation. Industrial hive or whatever. So we got that. Uh, we need another piston. We need some glass. Three, four. Uh, we need that for something else, right? For the... I don't remember what it was. The bee receptacle. I mean, okay. Uh, See, so we need some of this. I think a weighted pressure plate is two, I want to say. Is there, a, is there a different one? Is there like a heavy one? No, it's light. Okay. So there's that. What else did we need for that? Is that it? I need more redstone. One, two. And I think we're ready to make that. Yep, there we go. Start a casing. Make one of those. And oh, I need some more redstone. Right, so one more redstone, and I think I had one extra iron in here. Yep. Let's get this guy. Make another piston. Come over here, and I'll just do that. Make it a little bit easier on myself. And then do that. Sweet. Um, I, I'm assuming this guy also needs power since it had that whole automation gets plus 10 percent power so that's going to be bad because i'm going to run something all the way over there right although i guess there are all the upgrades for like hot and arid I, I believe so i guess we can just use this right here and get a different type of bee if i can remember where i put my bees okay Meadows, yeah, I think that. Ooh, we have a, we actually got a queen. I didn't even notice that. Hmm. Let's uh. So yeah, we didn't actually get a drone. Um, I think if we just put the queen in there, it'll automatically produce drones for us. If I'm not mistaken, because that's what the other hive is already doing. Okay. Um, let me do this real quick and just see. Because, yeah, it's, it's gaining power. Always on. Energy, temperature, and humidity are normal. Oh, it's doing something. It's going up by 10%. I think it needs uh, flowers as well to actually be able to do anything. And I brought some. So let's get a dandelion out there. Do I have a, a poppy? I do have a poppy. There we go. Oh. There we go. And let's get this whatever aluminum. Put that out there. Uh, let's do that one right there. And. I don't know. You right there. Not bright enough. Ah, so it needs to have daytime. So it's, I guess, dire, dire, diurnal, whatever it was. I guess that maybe is like can only be on during the day or can produce during the day perhaps but uh this is actually kind of taking some time and also this episode is running i think probably a little bit long i can't remember how much time that uh first section took up so we're probably over 30 minutes by now so i think i'm gonna eat some carrots and uh, call the episode there for today, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave comments. Leave those down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, you might want to think about doing that. But uh, yeah, this is basically you know, the start of us getting into forestry. Uh, like I believe I said in that uh, beginning bit is I kind of wanted to do that in a Grand Skies 2. And I just wasn't able to. So being able to do it. In this mod pack, uh, especially you know that it's 1.10, uh, we'll be able to f like scratch that itch that I wasn't able to scratch. So hopefully I I don't mess up and you know just kill all these bees, because that would be sad. But yeah, uh, I think that's it for today, guys. So again, hopefully you enjoyed. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I will talk to you next time.
Bye-bye.